Have you ever wondered what makes you move or even stand upright? It's your muscular system. This intricate network, composed of over 600 muscles, is your body's very own powerhouse of movement and support. It's like the puppet master pulling the strings, making you dance, jump, run, or simply blink an eye. Muscles are not all the same, though. Just as a symphony orchestra is made up of different instruments, each with its own unique sound, our muscular system is composed of three different types of muscles, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Let's start with skeletal muscles. These are the ones you probably think of when someone says muscle. They're attached to your bones and help you perform voluntary movements, like lifting weights or typing an essay. They also play a key role in maintaining your posture, so you can stand tall and confident. Next up, we have smooth muscles. These are the unsung heroes of our muscular system. They're found in many of our internal organs and are responsible for involuntary movements. For example, they help push food through your digestive tract, a process known as peristalsis. Last, but certainly not least, we have cardiac muscles. These specialized muscles are found only in your heart and have the incredibly important job of pumping blood throughout your body. They have the unique ability to generate and conduct electrical impulses, ensuring your heart beats in a coordinated and rhythmic manner. In essence, our muscular system is a marvel of biological engineering. It's a symphony of movement, a harmony of parts working together to allow us to live, move, and interact with the world around us. So the muscular system does more than just let you show off at the gym. It is fundamental to almost every action your body performs. When you think of muscles, you probably think of your biceps or abs, right? These are what we call skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are the workhorses of our bodies. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they're responsible for every voluntary movement we make. Every time you lift a cup of coffee, type on a keyboard, or do a cartwheel in the park, you're relying on your skeletal muscles. These muscles are made up of long, slender cells called muscle fibers. Each fiber is packed with tiny contractile units known as sarcomeres. Picture a string of pearls, with each pearl representing a sarcomere. This arrangement allows the muscle to contract and relax in a controlled manner. Now let's delve a little deeper into how this contraction happens. It's all thanks to a process called the sliding filament theory. This theory describes how the two types of protein filaments within the sarcomere, actin and myosin, slide past each other to shorten or lengthen the muscle fiber. It's a bit like how a telescope extends and retracts. When you decide to move, your brain sends a signal down a motor neuron to the muscle. This signal triggers the release of calcium ions within the muscle fiber. The calcium ions bind to the actin filaments, exposing sites for the myosin filaments to attach. Using energy stored in a molecule called ATP, the myosin filaments pull on the actin filaments, causing the sarcomere to shorten. This is what we call a muscle contraction. But skeletal muscles don't just help us move. They also play a crucial role in maintaining our posture. Whether you're sitting, standing, or even lying down, your skeletal muscles are constantly contracting and relaxing to keep you upright and balanced. So next time you hit the gym or simply walk down the street, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work your skeletal muscles are doing. From the smallest twitch to the most complex movement, they're tirelessly working to keep you moving and upright. These skeletal muscles, Working as a team, enable us to perform complex movements and maintain our posture. So, how does a muscle actually contract? Let's delve into the microscopic world inside our muscles. Imagine a bustling city where the buildings are muscle fibers and the streets are the sarcomeres. The sarcomeres are the functional units of contraction, the real workhorses in our muscle city. They are organized in a precise and orderly manner to efficiently contract and relax, providing the power for our movements. But how does this city receive its orders? Enter the neuromuscular junction, the command center of our muscle city. Here, motor neurons, the city's messengers, deliver signals from the brain to the muscles. These signals trigger a cascade of events causing the sarcomeres to contract. This is the magic behind every twitch, every flex, every move you make. So every muscle contraction is a result of a fascinating chain of events happening in a fraction of a second. Muscles are like engines, and just like any engine, they need fuel to run. Now what is this fuel, you may ask? 
It's called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. ATP is the primary source of energy for our muscles. It's like the gasoline that powers our cars, but for our bodies. Here's how it works. When you exercise, your muscles need energy to contract. ATP provides this energy by breaking down into adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, and a phosphate group. This breakdown releases energy that the muscles can use. But the body can't store much ATP, so it must constantly produce more. The body has three main ways to make ATP, through creatine phosphate, anaerobic glycolysis, and aerobic respiration. Each method kicks in at different stages of exercise, depending on the intensity and duration of the activity. So, our muscular system is not just about movement, it's also a powerhouse that fuels our bodies. So far, we've talked about the muscles you can flex, but what about the ones you can't see or feel? Now let's delve into the world of smooth and cardiac muscles, the unseen heroes of our bodies. Hidden deep within our bodies, smooth muscles are the unsung workhorses. They're found in the walls of our hollow organs, like the stomach, intestines, and blood vessels quietly carrying out essential tasks without us even being aware. They contract and relax in a rhythmic dance, enabling processes like peristalsis, which is the wave-like movement of food through our digestive tract. The beauty of smooth muscles is that they don't require conscious thought. Imagine having to remember to digest your lunch while trying to focus on a task. Thanks to smooth muscles, that's a worry we don't have. Now let's talk about the heart a marvel of nature and its resident muscle, the cardiac muscle. Unlike its smooth and skeletal counterparts, cardiac muscle is unique. Its cells are branched, forming a network that allows electrical impulses to pass swiftly from one cell to the next. This coordinated effort results in the rhythmic contraction and relaxation we know as our heartbeat. But that's not all. The cardiac muscle is also self-excitable. It doesn't always need a signal from the brain to contract. Instead, it has its own pacemaker cells that generate and spread electrical impulses, setting the pace for the rest of the heart. It's like having a built-in metronome. This characteristic allows our heart to beat consistently, even when we're asleep or unconscious. It's incredible to think about the tireless work these unseen muscles are doing right now as you listen to this. They're not just maintaining your posture or helping you lift things. They're ensuring blood is pumped around your body, your food is digested, and your organs function properly. From your heart to your stomach, these unseen heroes are working nonstop to keep you alive and functioning. So the next time you flex your biceps, spare a thought for these underappreciated champions tirelessly working behind the scenes. They truly are the unsung heroes of our bodies. Now that we understand how crucial our muscular system is, how do we keep it healthy and strong? Well, there are three main pillars to maintaining muscular health. Regular exercise, proper nutrition, and injury prevention strategies. Let's dive right into each one of them. Regular exercise is like a tune-up for your muscles. It helps keep them strong, flexible, and efficient. But it's not just about lifting weights at the gym. Different types of exercises benefit different types of muscles. For instance, aerobic exercises like running, swimming, or cycling are great for your cardiac muscles, while resistance and strength training exercises are ideal for your skeletal muscles. And let's not forget yoga and stretching exercises that help maintain the flexibility and smooth functioning of all your muscles. Proper nutrition is the fuel that your muscles need to function optimally. Proteins are the building blocks of muscles, so a diet rich in lean meats, dairy, beans, and nuts can provide the essential amino acids your muscles require for repair and growth. Carbohydrates are the primary energy source for your muscles, especially during high-intensity workouts. Healthy fats are also important as they help in the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins and support cell growth. Last, but certainly not least, let's talk about injury prevention. Muscles are resilient, but they're not invincible. Proper warm-up and cool-down routines, using the correct form and technique during exercises, wearing appropriate protective gear, and listening to your body's signals of pain or discomfort are all crucial strategies to prevent muscle injuries. And there you have it. The trifecta of muscular health. Regular exercise, proper nutrition, and injury prevention. But remember, everyone's body is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. 
So it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or a certified trainer to create a personalized plan that suits your body's needs and fitness goals. Remember, a healthy muscular system is key to a healthy, active life. So take care of your muscles. They do a lot for you. All right, we've covered a lot about our muscles today, but what about the structure they move and protect? That's right, we're talking about the skeletal system. In our next episode, we'll dive deep into the world of bones and joints. We'll explore how they're structured, how they grow, and how they function to support, protect, and enable movement. Bones are much more than just a rigid framework that holds us together. They are dynamic, living tissues that play crucial roles in our overall health and well-being. From providing a sturdy support for our muscles, to protecting our vital organs, to aiding in movement, bones are truly the unsung heroes of our body. But how do they grow and develop? How do they repair themselves when they're injured? And how can we keep our bones healthy and strong? All these questions and more will be answered in our next episode. So, stay tuned as we reveal the mysteries of the skeletal system, the amazing framework that holds us together. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding your body better will empower you to take better care of it. So, we'll see you in the next episode where we'll dive into the fascinating world of the skeletal system. Until then, keep those muscles healthy and strong. Well, that's almost a wrap for today. But before we say goodbye, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed learning about the power and intricacies of your muscular system. Want to keep expanding your knowledge? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more educational content like this. And of course, share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread knowledge and curiosity together. We're keen to hear your thoughts. Have any questions or insights about what we've covered today? Feel free to leave a comment below. We love hearing from you, and we're always ready to engage in enriching discussions. And remember, in our next episode, we'll be delving into the fascinating world of the skeletal system, a world of bones and joints that work in harmony to support, protect, and enable our movements. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. Until next time, keep learning, stay curious, and take care of your amazing body. See you in the next episode, folks.